There are a number of different ways that you can download official Samsung firmware onto the PC. We mostly do this for flashing the firmware back onto our device for things like a manual over-the-air update or patching that firmware with Magisk so that we can gain root access. Again, there are a number of ways that we can download the, these firmware files. Well, some people use uh, a website called Sam Mobile. I know another uh, Samsung firmware database website. I believe it's called Updato. I'll be linking these websites down in the video description for those who are curious and need another source of these Samsung firmware downloads. But I wanted to do a updated video on this program that I used to use called SamFirm. So SamFirm was a program available to download on the XDA forum where you would go in and enter your uh, model number of your smartphone or tablet, then enter the region code, also known as the CSC code. And from here we could simply click the check update button and it would go in and find the latest version of that firmware for this device and this region code and then let us download it. However, over the last few weeks, SamFirm has not been working as we get the this authorization. I know there was another uh, error code before this. So today I want to show you a different program that you can use. Again, it's available through the XDA forum. Again, I'll be linking both the download and the XDA thread in the video description for those who maybe want to grab the latest updated version. And as you can see here, the, the program looks very similar as far as the function is concerned. So again, we just enter the model number of your device and you can find the model number of your smartphone or tablet by opening up the settings application, scrolling all the way down to the about section. And then right there at the top, you should see a entry called model number. So for my Galaxy, S, my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the model number is SM-N975F. And the CSC code, also known as the region code for my device, is TPA. And if you're unfamiliar with how to figure out what your CSC code is, again, look in the video description. I'll include a link to a tutorial that I did specifically for that. So unless we want to manually enter the PDA, CSC, and phone build codes, we just keep this option set to auto. And then just like before, we click the check update button. Again, it look, works just like the SAM firm program where we enter the model into this CSC code. We just keep it on auto and then click the check update button. Assuming you entered the top two parts right and you're able to connect to the server, then you should see the bottom section of the FreeUp program fill out with the version of the latest firmware. Again, this is the PDA, CSC, and phone build numbers. You'll also be told which version of Android this is and given a file name as well. With that done, you can click on the download button. It will bring up a file browser where you can choose where you want to download that file. And then you can just save it and extract that file once it is downloaded. So that's it. Not a very detailed tutorial today. I just wanted to show you this new tool. I guess it's new. It's been out for a while, but I've continued to use SamFirm even though this one was out until recently when SamFirm stopped working. So again, you can use the Freya application 
to download Samsung firmwares, or you can use a website like Sam Mobile or Updato.